unit 4 water quality chapter 2 how to maintain the quality of water now children we know there are various sources of water okay which are available so first is the running water okay the running water in a river or a running water um, it can be in a rivulet or it can be in a canal then there are other sources the water in the dam then the water from the na natural ponds and the last and the then the last one is the ground water now we know many substances get mixed along with the water which is available in nature for example before reaching the ground rain water mixes with solids such as dust bacteria and other gra uh, gases like carbon dioxide oxygen etc now as the water flows over the soil the substances on it also enters the water and then when the water seeps into the ground when it seeps into the soil it uh, it dissolves the organic as well as inorganic substances which are present in the soil now let us see how to maintain the quality of water now water is classified by considering all the factors the water that comes to you is purified in the following ways first by removing the floating substances okay whatever substances which are floating on the water those are been removed out then settling down the sludge whatever impurities is there it is been settled down that is at the bottom of the water then if the water is hard it is necessary that it should be soft we cannot use hard water then it should be filtered okay that is filtration should be done and the last is sterilize the water with chlorine gas now clear looking water can contain invisible pathogens water can be contaminated by bacteria germs as well as viruses now when drinking water is contaminated it causes different diseases to human beings like typhoid cholera dysentery jaundice gastroenteritis okay etc so the water must be pure for drinking now for this regular disinfection of water should be carried out now chlorination is an easy way to disinfect the water chlorination in the form of bleaching powder is also done which helps to kill germs and viruses and makes the water pure which is easily available for drinking now bleaching powder which is also known as tcl powder it is manufactured by you mixing chlorine gas in lime by machine fresh bleaching powder should contain more than 33% of chlorine to maintain this amount of chlorine it is essential to keep the bleaching powder in a sealed container and in a closed bag in a dry place if this type of care is not taken properly then the chlorine gas in the bleaching powder is released into the air over time and then the disinfection power of the powder becomes weak bleaching powder with no chlorine is of no use it cannot disinfect the water but expected puri and the expected purification also doesn't take place that is why ot test is done ot test means it's a orthotoluene test okay it's a orthotoluene test which is being used to detect the uh, uh, detect the power of the bleaching powder now this test needs to be done after a regular period if the ortholodin test is positive well water or hand pump water purification is expected to be beneficial of such bleaching powder however special care has to be taken to maintain the quality of sterilized water from time to time and prevent water from pollution now after the supply of pure water to the houses it is necessary to store that water properly now water stored at home level should be handled properly okay failure if you fail to handle the water uh, properly then it might affect the quality of water and then it might cause disease 
therefore household storage utensils should be cleaned properly daily okay it should be kept in a clean place on a high level which will be out of reach of children now store water should be properly covered so that it is not contaminated by outside dust and debris okay now care should be taken that not to touch pure water by hands as much as possible okay uh, use water dispenser with a long rod then never put the water pot in the ground okay uh, we see a peat duck in the ground and on and an earthen pot place in it these two helps to keep the water cool however the water in such pots can be detrimental to health if you use a glass for drinking water it is not necessary to drink the water by touching it to the mouth it is necessary to get into the habit of drinking water without touching the glass to the mouth this will save water by reducing the amount of glass washing each time and will make it very easier to maintain the purity of water then surface and ground water areas are also more likely to get polluted during monsoons okay um, there could be outbreaks of academic diseases during this time therefore special care should be taken for disinfection of water in such cases the amount of bleaching powder should be incre increased for disinfection and ot test also should be done regularly now if the water is aerated drained disinfected to remove water color odor taste and all kinds of bacteria alum ferric chloride ferrous sulfate are used to coagulate the uh, suspend particles and clean the water effectively aeration is used to remove gases such as carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide and to increase the amount of dissolved oxygen in water um, as well as to separate the compounds of dissolved iron and manganese so with this we have finished the lesson okay so you have to for ex for homework you have to do the exercise questions one and two in your notebook thank you